Hi there. In this video, we're going to sync video and audio based on LTC or linear timecode. What is linear timecode? It basically is timecode stored as an audio signal. It sounds like this. Yes, this weird sounding noise is actually timecode. Now, why would you ever want to use that? Well, mainly because we don't live in a perfect world and not all video and audio recording devices are able to record proper timecode. Let's say you're shooting with a DSLR camera like a Canon 5D or Panasonic GH5. Those can almost never record timecode, but they do have a microphone input which enables them to record external audio along with the video. Now if you have something like a tentacle sync box in your setup that can generate the LTC audio signal, you can pipe that into the microphone input of your DSLR and have it record timecode this way. The tentacle unit can also act as a master clock for devices with timecode input or even jam sync any timecode from an external source and send it on as LTC. Where does that leave us in production? There are basically three scenarios. First, the camera does not record timecode and has to be fed with the LTC, where at the same time the sound recorder can record proper timecode into the header of its WAV files. Second, the camera records proper timecode onto a timecode track, but the sound recorder can't record timecode and needs to record the LTC onto one of its channels. Third, neither the camera nor the sound recorder can record timecode and both need to record the LTC from the tentacle into one of their respective audio channels. So, at some point, likely during Daily's creation, you need to sync audio and video. Scratch version 9 ships with integrated LTC detection and offers a great and flexible workflow for those scenarios. Let's go ahead and look at the first scenario. Video with LTC, audio with timecode. First, let's load the video clips into our timeline. Looking at the metadata stack, we can see that none of them ships with actual timecode. Let's have a quick look at the audio by going to the Edit tab and clicking the Audio menu. So here's our LTC audio track. A more detailed view can be found here in the Audio panel under the Waveform tab. If we go to the second clip, we can even spot a little issue. For some reason, the camera only started recording the audio a few frames later than the video. But that should not be a problem at all. So how do we turn this audio signal into timecode? Back to the Construct tab. Select all clips and open up the media browser. Watch those three timecodes here closely. If I click the Read LTC button here, all three will update with the new timecode. That was easy. Now let's sync the external audio that has proper timecode. Therefore, go to the Audio tab, make sure we match based on timecode and let's also enable the Import Scene Take option here, so Scratch can read out scene and take information from the broadcast WAV files and add them as metadata to the clips. Now point Scratch to the folder containing the WAV files and here we are. All audio matched and slipped and even with scene and take info. Let's check against in the editor. Yes, all four audio channels present with their respective channel names. We can also see where the spike of the clap is in the waveform. Let's check whether we are in sync with the video. Especially with our second clip that had no LTC at the very beginning. Yes, hits the nail on its head. You can always fine-tune your slip in milliseconds if needed by dragging the waveform here. Now it's even more perfect. Let's move on to number 2. Video has proper timecode, but audio has recorded one channel of LTC. Again, let's first load in our video clips. Looking at the metadata stack, we can clearly see that these clips ship proper timecode. This means we can go directly to the media browser and load the audio. Here we make sure to enable the Check LTC option before pointing Scratch to the audio folder. And back to the editor. As you can see, 
the sound recorder used channel 1 to record the LTC. This is actually recommended. Depending on how many clips you want to sync at once, it saves Scratch from checking through each and every channel of a file if it has already found the LTC in channel 1. Let's play this back. Yeah, that's definitely LTC here. Let's switch off channel 1 in the output tab of the audio panel. Much better. Now let's see if we're in sync here with the video. Yes, matches 100%. Great. Off to the third scenario. Neither camera nor sound recorder have recorded a timecode track, but both have recorded an LTC track. With the tools we know by now, it should be clear what to do. First, load the video clips. No timecode. So let's get it by going to the media browser and read it out. Done. Now let's get the LTC audio files. Make sure check LTC is enabled and let Scratch find and match the files. And again, let's check how far we succeeded. Outstanding, everything is in perfect sync. So now we can proceed to the ColorFX tab, apply our grading, lookup tables and what have we, and finally to the render tab in order to render out our perfectly synced dailies. This concludes our tutorial on linear timecode. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Bye!